how to sell digital embroidery patterns on Etsy hey guys welcome to this new video in today's video I'm going to show you how you can sell your own products using this platform so let's get started first by talking about this platform and explaining explain it for you so Etsy.com is a platform where you can sell your own products or when you can buy other people's products as you can see like here these clothes or those earrings those other earrings so basically in this platform most of those products are handmade products as you can if you notice that as you can see we have a lot of earrings and clothes so those all are handmade products and here we have a lot of categories so for example let's check the personalized gifts category so let's just wait for it to load So here this is a shop page let's click on shop this item and wait for it to load while waiting let's explore some of the other products like these ones So here in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a shop page exactly like this one how to upload your pictures a video of your product if you have it and some other pictures like these ones as you can see and also I'm going to show you how you can add those other details and how to add your description of the product and also I'm going to show you how you can set your shipping and return policies so let's go back to the first page or the main page or the front page and then just wait for it to load let's close this one and let's stay focused in here See if the sign button is working. So I think so here it's loaded. So just click on the sign in button and log in with your email or register to create your new account. So click on sign in to log in. And after signing in, you go to your top right, you click on the shop manager button. And let's start from the shop preferences. So here guys, to create your shop page, you will need to go through six steps as you can see in here. And the first is the shop preferences where you set your language, your country, and your currency. So I'm just going to change the currency and leave everything else as it is. Then click on save and continue. And then you choose a name for your shop. So for me, I'm just going to type my niche as the name and remove the spaces and try to shorten your name to be less than 20 characters let's see what we can remove so that's it click on save and continue and then you proceed to fill in the other details like the photos and the details about your item you can fill out what you can for now you'll be able to edit this later so let's go through it so first you will need photos add as many as you can so buyers can see every detail so here photos use up to 10 photos to show your items most important qualities and here you have some tips like use natural light and no flash include a common object for scale show the item being held worn or used 
shoot against a clean simple background add photos to your variations so guys can see all the options <coughs> so here guys make sure to upload at least one picture of your product and make sure that is the primary photo or if you have even more that's better and then we have the video so here bring your product to life with a 5 to 15 second video it could help you drive more sales the video will want future sound so let your product do the talking so here follow these quick tips to film a good video like film wearable items on a model or show a functional item being used adjust your settings to record high resolution video aim 1480 pixels or higher crop your video after you upload it to get the right dimensions and if you want to learn how to make videos that sell just click on this button then we have the listing details where you type the title of your product and you answer these questions what is it a finished product when did you make it let's go with recently and let's search for the category of your product of your product or your category so here choose from these categories let's go with this one and here you have some additional details to fill like the primary color secondary color with height depth and so on and then we have the renewal options if you want an automatic renewal or a manual one then you have the type if your product is a physical product or a digital product like in my case and then we have the description so guys if you want to write a good description make sure to focus on this text it will give you good ideas and then we have the section tags materials which are optional as you can see you can leave them to later then we have the inventory and pricing you put your price in here and the quantity that you have in that product and here you write the SKU number then you upload your file in here if it's a digital product you will have this section shown here you will need to upload at least one file or up to five more files and then we have the return and exchanges policy so here you have no returns or exchanges policy because buyer can contact seller about any issues with an order so that's it guys for today's video don't forget to like the video subscribe to my channel and share the video with your friends